It was never really a goal of mine. It was, wasn't a landmark I ever thought about until maybe a few days before when I started getting like texts and phone calls. Stats is, is never something I'm really, you know, concerned about. It's more um, win-loss, you know, how, how's the program doing? How is the team doing? So if I can contribute in, in scoring, in assists and passing, in um, just being a leader on the court in general, uh, I'm going to do whatever I can. And so um, I've been fortunate to play with great players, um, great point guards like Chris Long, Josh Bonney, and Austin Hamilton, um, who are great distributors. So um, being one of the, the many shooters we have on the team, naturally uh, you're going to score points. He's a great kid. Uh, I'd love for my son to grow up and be like Jack Eisenberger. And, and really, I'd, uh, we have great guys on our team. Uh, we very rarely, if ever, talk about individual honors. Uh, it's neat that he scored 1,000 points, that he's an all-conference player. Jack's doing a great job uh, assuming the point guard position, and he's really getting us as a team into our motion offense. He also sets the defense by pressuring their, the other team's point guard. So he's really improved as a defender during his career here. Shooting the three is always fun, but it starts uh, with the fundamentals. Just putting in time at the gym, uh, being a gym rat when I was a little kid, uh, which is something you know I've had to do because um, I'm never the most athletic guy on the court. I'm not the biggest or strongest or quickest guy. So being being able to shoot is is really one of my only weapons, I guess. So. Uh, I guess I've tried to take advantage of that. Uh, a thousand points is a lot of points. And um, uh, they will now be in the, the record books of Elon. Uh, there's only a handful of players that have done that in their career here. And uh, it's quite an accomplishment. Um, and it, what's neat for me as a coach is that I, I get the chance to recruit those guys and see them play for their high school teams. And, and you see when they're 17, 18 year, years old, and you know their dreams, and you know what they hope for. And uh, then you see them come in as freshmen. Uh, they had an opportunity to play right away, uh, which was really good for them. You see their growth through their sophomore year. And now you see them as juniors. And uh, they're no longer high school players. Uh, they're college players. And uh, they're, they're men now. And uh, it's neat for me to see their growth from their high school days up until the point they are right now.